Today we're talking about adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro, but before we do, I gotta give you a little bit of a backstory about how this video came about. So recently I uploaded a video on how to get Apple ProRes RAW into Final Cut Pro and then into DaVinci Resolve for color grading. And in that video, I told people that now take an adjustment layer and if you guys are unsure how to make an adjustment layer let me know and if enough people request it i can make a video on how to do that but i know not everybody wants to color grade in davinci resolve lots of people are very happy color grading within final cut pro maybe they don't even have davinci resolve so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make a basic adjustment layer for those who watched that video but then i'm also going to show you guys a more advanced method of making adjustment layers how I organize those and how I would use those to color grade one of my own videos just to kind of give you guys an example of how to use them. Ready? Let's check it out. For this basic adjustment layer, we're going to be using Apple Motion and I know not all of you have Apple Motion. So for those of you who need just a basic adjustment layer, I'm going to leave a link down below where you can download that basic adjustment layer free of charge. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up Apple Motion and you'll be greeted by this blank project here. We're going to just select Final Cut Title and then for your resolution, you want to set that to the maximum resolution that you would normally work with. Now this is according to Apple. I haven't seen much of a difference if you set it to something different, but since that's what they're calling for, that's what I'll go ahead and do. Frame rate, I set mine to 2398 because that's normally what I work with. And so we're just gonna hit open and then you'll be greeted by this blank title project here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna select this middle layer here, which is our title layer. And we're just gonna hit delete. Now we're gonna go up to file, save, and we're gonna name it adjustment layer. And for our category, we're gonna create a new category and we're gonna name it adjustment layer as well. Okay, create, and then we're just gonna hit publish. And now if we open back up Final Cut, and now you can see we have within our title section, we have an adjustment layer section and we have our, our adjustment layer. And we can just pull that adjustment layer down and drag it across our clip and make any kind of adjustments that we want to make whatsoever. Now I'm going to show you guys a more advanced method for creating adjustment layers. And uh, again, stick around because then I'm also going to show you guys how I would use those for one of my own color grades. Now there is a link down below where you can download these adjustment layers as well all organized and, and categorized within Final Cut, but these are not free. It did take me time to do this, and uh, I don't want people to just come and download something and leave the video because then YouTube won't show it to anybody. So that one is where you can just buy me a coffee to, to be able to download those, three bucks, or if you want to buy me more, I appreciate that as well. But I am going to walk you through how I create these and how I use them. So we're going to open back up Apple Motion. And again, we're gonna be greeted with this blank project and we're gonna select Final Cut Title. Again, set your resolution to the max that you would use and we're gonna hit open. And we're gonna take our middle layer here, which is our text layer, hit delete. And now we're gonna go File, Save As. And we still have our category here as adjustment layer. We're gonna leave that. And so now we're gonna start working on adjustment layers for our primary color corrections and our secondary color grades. And so our, for our first one, we're gonna name it Exposure. And again, leave it in our category for adjustment layer. And for theme, we're gonna create a new theme and we're gonna call this Primary Color Grades. Hit Create and we're gonna hit Publish. And now we're gonna just start working our way down the list. So we're gonna go File, Save As, and we're gonna name this one White Balance. Everything else stays the same. Category Adjustment Layer, Theme Primary Color Grades, hit Publish. And now we're gonna create one for Contrast. Publish. And we're gonna create one for Saturation. All right, and now that we've got our primaries out of the way, we're gonna start doing our secondaries. So save as, 
And this one, we're gonna name it contrast as well. And for our theme, we're gonna create a new theme for secondary color corrections. We'll call it grades. All right, and we're gonna hit publish. And now we're gonna create one for power window. And again, these are for our secondary color grades, publish. And we'll create a new one here for vignette. Publish. And now we're gonna do one for sharpen. Sorry for the fan noise, one of my drives just kicked on. And now we're gonna do one for our look. Again, everything the same, adjustment layer, and for our theme, secondary color grades. And now for our final one, is gonna be for our LUT. And we're just gonna create a new theme that says LUT. And hit create and publish. And now we can go ahead and close down Apple Motion. And if we open back up Final Cut here, we can see now within our adjustment layer section, we have all the adjustment layers that we just created. We have our original adjustment layer, we have our LUT, all of our primary and secondary grades. But now I will show you how I use these adjustment layers to help keep things properly organized and just make things more efficient. And so what I'm gonna do is the first thing is I'm gonna take my adjustment layer and I'm gonna bring it down for my LUT. And so what I do to kind of keep these things organized is if you go over here to the inspection window, you can see here there's video roles and it's set to title. By default, all the adjustment layers will be purple because they're title layers. But what I've done is I've created different roles for each one of these different types of corrections or grades. And you can create these. I have my primary, secondary, LUT, look, and letterbox. But you can create these by going to edit roles here and you would just hit add video role and you could name this whatever you want and just hit enter and then you can even change the color to whatever you want. But I've already created all mine so I don't need these, but here's a look at the ones that I use. So we'll just delete that and we'll actually just hit cancel. And since this is my LUT, I'm gonna change this over to LUT and I'm gonna go into my effects window here and I'm gonna go into color and I'm gonna take custom LUT and drop that onto my adjustment layer. Go up to the inspector window and then I'm just gonna select my regular Panasonic to Rec. 709 conversion LUT from Panasonic. Now you can see that's changed my image over to a Rec. 709 image, but it, nothing special about it. It's a little bit flat and a little bit undersaturated in my opinion. And so I'm gonna show you how I would kind of adjust this. And so close that down. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is maybe add a little bit more contrast. So I'm gonna go into my primary color grades adjustment layer, and I'm gonna drop this below the LUT layer. Now this is something that is very important. All of your primary corrections, you wanna do them before the LUT layer because the LUT's gonna make a mathematical conversion and kind of uh, clamp down on your signal coming out of that LUT and so you won't have as much room to work with. So all of your primary grades and, and sometimes even some of your secondary grades, you wanna put them before the LUT. But so we're gonna adjust our contrast here. I'm gonna go to my inspector over here and I'm gonna change the role to primary and then I'm gonna go up to my color palette and I'm gonna go to color curves and we're just gonna start adjusting the contrast here a little bit. As you can see here, I got a, a lot in the shadows and a lot of headroom in the highlights. And so I'm gonna just kind of adjust this to taste here, bring up my midtones. And I'm not gonna get like super technical on all this. I just wanna kind of show you guys what you can do with these. And so there's 
before after actually i'm going to push those mid-tones back up a bit all right we'll call that good and so i know that the panasonic s1 which is what this is shot on has a little bit of a magenta shift to it and so i'm going to go and adjust my white balance so i'm going to bring a white balance adjustment layer here stretch that out across this clip go to my inspector change it to a primary and i normally um, i'm going to go into my color wheels here and i'll normally just like take two out of the tint and push it towards green and that usually corrects my magenta shift and now it's very desaturated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a saturation adjustment layer and there's no like method necessarily to how these are done. I mean, it's color grading is very subjective. So you can kind of do these in whatever order that you want and you'll be going back and forth between each of these. This is just how I do it. It's not necessarily the correct way, but now I'm gonna go back up to my inspector menu here and I'm gonna change that to a primary, go to my color palette here and I'm going to push up just the global saturation And I think that looks fairly decent. All right, that's decent. And so I think that's pretty much all I need to do within the primary. I don't really have to adjust my exposure too much. I did most of that within the contrast and it was exposed fairly well to begin with. There's not a whole lot that I wanna do creatively here, but I will show you guys a little bit how to use the secondary color grades. So. Let's just say um, the first thing I want to do is I want to make me kind of pop off the background a little bit more. Um, you know, the background's pretty bright and I'm fairly dark, but let's just say I wanted to kind of make me stand out a little bit more, or draw the focus more onto me since the eye is normally drawn to the brightest part of the image. So I'm going to just grab a power window adjustment layer here, stretch that out over the clip and go back up to my inspection window and I'm gonna set this to a secondary correction. And now what I'll do is I'm gonna kind of just bring up the mid-tones to where I feel like I look fairly good. And as you can see, it's like blowing out the sky now. We're, we're way over 100 IRE, so we're definitely clipping all that information. And so I'm gonna create a power window, add a shape mask, and just kind of shape it over me here and then I'm gonna feather this way out so it's not so noticeable and you can see that that's kind of brought the rest of it down but still within the window it's it's clipping and so I'm gonna bring the highlights down within that maybe bring the mids down just a little bit and so let's see so that's given me a little bit more pop. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of saturation to me as well. So that way there's a little bit more color separation. Maybe that's a little bit too much. So now I'm popping a little bit, but so it's brought me out a little bit. It's kind of made me pop a little bit more, but now I wanna kind of darken the background some. So I'm gonna go to my mask here and I'm gonna go outside. And then I'm just gonna kind of lower the overall exposure maybe lower the shadows a little bit actually i'll leave the shadows and i will lower the midtones since i'm in the midtone range and just kind of not wash it out too much bring the highlights up just a little bit let's see how this looks so you can see that's kind of brought the focus to me there in the center so it looks a little bit better kind of draws the eye more towards me rather than the background and so I think that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a bit of a look. So we're gonna take an adjustment layer and I wouldn't necessarily create a look for just a simple tutorial like this, but again, just to kind of show you guys. And so we're gonna go back up to the inspector and we're gonna change this over to look. We're gonna go to our color palette here and I'm gonna stick with the color wheels. And so what I'm gonna do is just overall globally i'm going to kind of shift this 
towards cyan a bit. Kind of cool the whole thing down some and then that's kind of putting a little bit of blue on me and I want a little bit more color separation between me and the background again to draw the eye towards me a little bit more. And so since I know I'm sitting in the mid-tones, I'm gonna shift this back over towards orange. See how that looks. That's all right, but let's draw the saturation up a little bit on that. So before, after, just kind of overall cool things down. It looks a bit more like a overcast day now. And so I'm gonna close these down, get a better look at it here. So I like that, but I think I kind of wanna make me pop out a little bit more, kind of brighten me up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back into my power window here. And so I'm gonna create a curves adjustment still within the same power window. And I'm going to just kind of boost that up a little bit. Kind of the mids there attack me. And then again, put another shape mask over this. Size it down to me. Kind of a little bit under. And feather this way out. Let's see. And it's kind of blowing out the highlights up here, so I'm gonna have to bring those down. That looks fairly good. And so it just kind of brightened me up over, overall a little bit more. I'll turn that off, so. And so yeah, that's that's how it's looking now. That's a pretty good looking image in, in my opinion. Um, and so I'll kind of show you what we did here. So, all right. I'll turn all of this off, except for the LUT. And so there's where we started. That was just converting over from um, log to rec 709. And there's with all of our adjustments. So before, after, and I'll go through each one of these individually. So here was our contrast. And then here was our saturation. There was the white balance adjustment. There's the power window. And then here was creating the look. So it's got a nice kind of teal orange look to it. That's a basic color grade on one of my videos about exposure. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's my most vlog style video to date, which was a lot of fun. But really the adjustment layer method and color correcting, color grading in general is something that is very subjective. and really there's no right or wrong way to use them this method just gives you a little bit more of a proper workflow and how to keep things organized and stuff like that to where you can get to a better end result so if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section i'd love to help you guys out give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe if you are not subscribed but other than that i will see you guys on the next one thanks for stopping by now to install these on Final Cut, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Finder. You're gonna go up here to Go, and you're gonna go to Home, and you're gonna go to Movies. You should have downloaded a folder that says Motion Templates. You're just gonna drag and drop that over here, and you'll see with inside it's got a Titles folder with the Adjustment layer. And so that's pretty much it to install it. If you have Final Cut open, you may need to close it and reopen it to get them to show up.